All right, so uh, before I start, let me introduce myself. My name is Murti. I'm in this uh, platform for last uh, 16 months. All right, so my profession, I'm a networker for 20 over years. I've been traveled to almost 12 countries to build a network size of 36,000 people. So 16 months ago, when this opportunity presented to me, I looked into this industry as one of the, the product itself, the currency trading. All right, and then here I'm going to cover two parts. First, I'm going to cover on the Forex industry by itself, what is Forex and how the industry works. Second part, I'm going to cover on the marketing concept, which the company created to help us to increase the equity. Once I finish part one, you will understand why equity is very important for us to become a successful Forex trader. Now, before I start, how many of you here don't know anything about Forex? Okay. Thank you. Welcome to my team. So, 16 months ago, I'm Jim. I don't know anything about Forex. Right? But today I'm proud of myself because it's not only me can make one percent. I am able to get more than 3,500 people in my team for last 16 months how to make 1%. Alright? Now, when you talk about trading, how many of you involved in uh, any kind of trading business? Buy, sell, class, vegetables, Punjabi suit, all that we are talking about trading, right? But here we are talking about currency trading, of course in an economic term called Forex. Forex means foreign exchange. See, every business there are turnover. People may ask you how much a business monthly or yearly turnover. So if you look into this industry, Today, we touch six trillion dollar a day. It's not a year, it's not a month, it's per day turnover. And it's the largest market in the world, the daily trading volume of six trillion. You can compare with any other market. You can compare with New York Stock Exchange, it's only 28 billion. Equity market, 195, future market, 437. But forex industry, we touch six trillion dollar a day. And I remember in 2004, I went for one of the seminars. The speaker told me it's 2 trillion. Then in 2010, the industry will retouch 4 trillion, 2013, 5.3, and last year, December, the industry will retouch 6 trillion dollar a day. And by end of this year, this industry is going to be 7.2, and by 2017, this industry will retouch 15 trillion dollar a day. So this is one of the largest industry, right? Okay, so. Forex basically is a network of thousands spent in the world with no central location. Meaning no one can control this industry, no one can manipulate this industry, the industry just moves by itself. And all the price set by all the buyers and sellers of the world in real time. I mean the market is 24 hours a day. For example, the Malaysia market, the market will open on Monday 6 a.m. and they close on Saturday 6 a.m. That means 5 days a week, 20 days in a month. Right? And currency are traded in pair. This is the eight major currency. You can choose what pair you want to trade. Whether you want to trade Euro USD, USD Canada, GBP Canada, you can decide and you can trade yourself. And of course in this world, there are millions of forex traders. But this is the top three traders in the world who are making billions. And I'm sure some of you know this guy. <coughs> okay? Our Tun Mahade good friend. You know what happened in 1997? This is the guy who crashed Linky Malaysia. So to save the country, Dun Mahathir pulled Ringgit Malaysia from currency trading at back at 3.8. So that's powerful of this industry. And people out there call him as the king of forex trader. Why? Because he trade only three times in a year. And doing a successful trade, he'll make one billion dollars. And second top earner, Stanley, third, Andy. But both of them actually students. But not only that, forex also, an industry that determine the stability of the country by economically or politically. During recession, any other industry may affect. You're talking about automobile industry, manufacturing industry. But forex industry, as long as people use currency to buy and sell, the industry will keep growing. So it's not something new. It's basically it's a hundred years old industry. It's already there even before we born. It's all started from UK in 1903. But today it's taking the world by storm. Why? Why today it's become top of the town? Because of the internet technology, now anyone can trade since 1998. Before that, only banks and large finance institutes are allowed to do forex trade. And minimum capital for us to go into the industry, $100,000. And that also they call micro account. But when the internet revolution started, the world already changed. The way we communicate, the way the finance industry are running, all changed since goes to forex industry. Today, right? anyone can trade. Whether you are a student, you are a housewife, 
your retiree, as long as you have coordinated with the internet, you can trade anytime. But of course, bef before 1998, only banks and large financial institutes are allowed to do trading. And minimum capital for us to go into the industry is $100,000. And that is what they call micro account. But today, you can start the industry as low as $25. You can go into the industry. But yet, friend, 95% people fail. Especially for the newcomer, tomorrow you may go and ask your friend who knows about this industry that you want to get involved in forex. First thing they say, please don't go in. Because they say it's a very high risk industry. It's true. It's a high risk and a high return as well. But the question that we have to ask ourselves, if 95% of people fail, then why the industry grow to 2 trillion, to 4 trillion, to 6 trillion? That means someone, somewhere, the 5% of the people are the, making the money. Why not we learn? how the 5% people make the money. But before that, let us find out why 95% people fail. So that when tomorrow you come on board, we also don't repeat the same mistake. So there are four main reasons why 95% people fail. First reason, people are greedy, whereas, see a lot of traders go into the market with $100, they want to earn $100 within a month. They go into the market with $500, they want to earn $500. Friend, that's already 100% return. There is no such thing of 100% return than anything that we do in our life. Everything, there must be a money management. So because of greed, they are lost. Second reason, there are a lot of emotion trader. Meaning when they go into the market, the moment they see their account go into negative, they try to fight against the market. They want to recover whatever. Because when emotions start to take place, you forget about the fundamental. Then they start to become a gambler. And out then 95% are foreign gambler. Because they lost. And third reason, knowledge. Out there, so-called forex trader or forex trainer, they charge you 2,005 to 15,000 again for five days class. After that, they ask you, okay, go and trade. Friend, this is 100 years of industry, how to learn within five days. So, in return knowledge, you go into the industry, they burn their money. So, this is the third reason. Fourth reason, equity, capital, moda. See, a lot of traders go into the market with $1,000, they want to earn 10, 20,000 a month. They go into the market with 2,000, you want to earn 30, 40,000. Friend, what is a thousand dollars compared to six trillion dollar a day? If you don't have a proper money management, your thousand dollars can just wipe out within half an hour. This is what happened in the market. So this is the four main reason why 95% people fail in this industry. So when the internet revolution started in 2001, the banks and large financial institutes started appointing their own brokers. Currently in the world, there are more than 2,400 forex brokerage company in the world. And introducing a broker called FX United, a forex brokerage company established in Belgium, registered off in New Zealand since year 2006. So for the last seven years, they only catered to corporate client. They're currently managing a fund of about $20 billion with more than 400 over traders worldwide. Only in 2013, April, they go into retail market, meaning they start to look for people like us. We all are retailers. And 2013, September, they came into Malaysia. So now in Malaysia, we are already more than 20 months. We are 40,000 traders. Right? For last 21 in Malaysia. Right? So they are world leading foreign action broker. They are licensed, registered to operate globally. Now, when you talk about local companies, Sandhya Brahat or public listed company, you want to check the company background, where do we go? We go either Suranjaya Sharika or we go to SE. But these brokers are registered in New Zealand. Right? They are regulated in New Zealand. So we want to check. How you want to check? Because one of the way we take a flight, go and check it ourselves. Or another way, you can use internet. So one of the site called underforexbroker.com. This website they lists all the top under brokers, forex broker in the world, and they have endorsed FX United as a four-star brokerage company. The year they registered, their HQ is New Zealand. But the most important, they must have the FSPR. FSP stands for Financial Service Provider License, regulated in New Zealand, in order to operate as a forex brokerage company. Or you can go to fxunited.com. You can download, download all the necessary documents, like certificate of incorporation, financial service provider, but the most important, the liquidity provider, the agreement between the banks or the financial institute and the broker. And all this in a PDF format, you can download, you can print, and we can file it for future reference. Right, right? So these are basically about the broker. <coughs> now, let's talk about the industry, how the industry operates. Now, before I share with you how the industry operates, let me share with you how the industry works, especially for the newcomer. Why the currency go up and down? Who actually control all these currency? Who actually make the money? Right? See, all the central bank of the country, central banks of forex bank. For example, Bank Nagara control India Malaysia. 
Central Bank of Japan control yen. Central Bank of Singapore control sing dollar. Why they need to do that? See, today all our income, whether you're in the health industry, finance industry, automobile industry, manufacturing industry, all our income based on these two major events. Right? That is the country income or our income based on export and import. And these determine or controlled by central bank, the terms called PMI. PMI stands for Production Manufacturing Index or Purchasing Manufacturing Index. And this is controlled by central bank. Right? Let's look at country like Japan. Why Japan? Because Japan is one of the highest export country in the world. Now let's say the Japanese PMI went up. The Production Manufacturing Index of Japan went up. Now the country need to do export. Now when they want to do export, all their electronic goods, their cars, global market is the buyer, am I right? So what is the major currency that takes place in the global transaction? US dollar. So 85% of the global transaction takes place in dollar. So what will happen in the forex market? That is USD versus, versus Japanese yen. Now let's say this pair, in a forex market, if Japanese yen is stronger than dollar, can Japan export their products? Hello? Can Japan export their products? Obviously cannot because their products become very expensive, no one will buy their products. So what the central bank Japan need to do? They need to bring down the value of the yen against dollar so that they can do export. Now how they bring down the value of the currency? See the gold reserve in the country will determine the value of the currency. So the central bank will reduce the gold reserve in the country, the currency value will go down, then the country can do export. Now let's say after a few, two or three months, if the PMI went down, production manufacturing index go down, all the purchasing packaging does go up. Then the country need to do import because they need to buy raw material, which they don't have rubber, oil palm, which they need to buy from Malaysia or Indonesia or Thailand. And that movement, if the currency weaker than dollar, then Japan have to pay a higher price to buy the products. So what the central bank will do? They start to increase the value of the yen against dollar how? They start to increase the gold reserve in the country. So this is one of the reasons why the currency go up and go down. So now we as a trader, how can we make money? It's very simple. In the forex market, when the currency go up, right, you just click buy. When the currency go down, you click sell. Simple. It's not a stock market. Stock market, when it's go up, only you can make money. But in the forex market, when it's go up, you click buy. When it's go down, you click sell. But when the currency will go up, when the currency will go down, we won't know. If we know, all of us become Joshua. <laughs> That's why we must know all the fundamental other economic factor which affect the movement of the currency. But of course, 15 years ago, we want all these news, we need to read a lot of newspaper, economic papers and all that. But today's technology, all, you can get all this information at one particular website called forexfactory.com. Right? They update you on a real time and all the currency in the world, major currency movement. Or oh, another reason like a political factor. About three months ago, we look into uh, Europe. Greece, opposition party won the election. And due to that, euro become weaker. And those sell euro for that particular one week, all of them make their money. So this is how the currency will go up and down. So anything that go up will definitely in the time frame time will go down. Anything that go down will definitely will go up. Right? That's how the industry work. Now, how the industry operate? <coughs> Remember I shared with you there's always the banks or financial institute. I know for extent they call liquid provider. So we have a liquid provider called LMAX. LMAX is one of the world's largest interbank from UK. So you can go online, check it out, say LMAX.com, they have an office in Singapore, they also have an office in Hong Kong. So under them, there's a few brokers, one of them, FX United. Now when FX United came into Malaysia, they need to appoint their representative. Or in a forex term, they call MIB, Master Interreserve Broker. So here in Malaysia, we have address as a Cal FX United Club. We are located in Pandan, Prima, Ampang, Kuala Lumpur. Alright? So the every country they always they only want MIB. So the MIB will go out there and look for ID. They call it introducer broker. Alright, currently in Malaysia there are total about nine IDs. So the IB will go out there and look for traders, people like you and me. We all are traders. So when we trade, we are actually directly deal with the ticket provider. That means when we deposit our money, we deposit through the broker, but actually our money will park in the LP. So when we trade, we make money, the key provider will pay us. When you lost, they will take our money. But then you may ask me, if all the traders are directly dealing with the key provider, then how the broker earn? 
how the broker, master broker, individual broker earn. And all these brokers in the world, they earn from these terms called spread. There's one term called spread in Forex. Okay, what is the meaning of spread? To make you simple understanding. I'm sure everyone seen money changer. There's a lot of money changer out there in Kuala Lumpur. When you go and see any money changer, there's always two columns called sell and buy. Have you seen that? Now, when you see the two colors, the value same or different? different. They're always different. So the different is the profit of the money chain. Do you see any poor money changer in KL? Money changer driving a country car? They will never become poor. Because why? From every single transition, they make their money. But money changer work on two digits. For example, one Singapore dollar, then give ratio two ring is 70 cents. So 70 cents is the last two digits. But forex or virtual currency, are traded in four digit or five digit. The last two digit, they call it the pips. Pips stand for percentage in point. So we as a trader, online virtual trader, we trade on the pips. I give you an example. The broker will set their own spread. For example, Euro USD. The spread is three, meaning when you sell 1.2635, when you buy 1.2638. Now what's the difference here? It's three spread, meaning three pips. I give you an example. Huh? Next, we take this as our trading value. 137, 13753. And this is euro USD. Now, before you enter the market, first we have to decide whether you want to buy or sell. That's the first step we need to do. Whether you want to buy or sell. That's the first step. So we have to decide whether you want to buy or sell. That's the first step. How you want to know? Of course, you look into the chart, fundamental, all of the economic terms, then you find out that euro is strong against dollar for that particular day. So, we click buy. That's the first step. We click buy. Now, second step, we need to enter the volume. They call it volume. Now, what is the minimum volume that we can enter into the forex market? One cent, one pip. One cent dollar, one pip. That's the minimum you can enter into the market. So, since you click buy, Let's say you went up 13763 and you decided to close the market. You already closed the market. So, what is your profit of the pips here? How many pips you profit? Profit 10 pips. That's in the term of pips. But in the dollar value, how much your profit is? How much money you earn here? 10 cents. Why? You enter only 1 cent per pip. If you enter 1 dollar, your profit here is 10 dollars. If you enter 5 dollars per pip, the profit here is fifty dollar. That's how some people enter the market ten dollar per pips, fifty dollars per pips, hundred dollars per pips, thousand dollars per pips. It's all based on the equity that we have. So you have smaller equity, you enter smaller volume. You have bigger equity, you have enter bigger volume. All right? So the spread three means the moment you enter one cent, the moment you enter one cent into the market, the broker will minus three cent from our equity. Like a brokerage fee, you got a three spread work. So let's say you earn ten pips, that means the broker only pays seven pips, they will earn three pips. Let's say if you enter one dollar per pips, the moment you enter one dollar, the broker will minus three dollars from our equity. Like a stock market, the remiser always make money. When you sell or buy, the remiser will always make money. Same goes to forex industry. The broker always make money. We as a trader, we make money or not, all the broker in the world are making the money. And today all the brokers are million and billion dollar company. Why? There are millions of people who trade and from the spread, every time somebody trade, they make their money. And good news about this broker, why I am as a trader, I am also like you, but traveling nationwide, non-stop, today is my eighth day I am doing the preview here. Tomorrow is Ramban, Thursday in Singapore, Friday again in Johor Bahru. Why? Because this is the only broker. You do the profit sharing from the spread with all of us. So we have our profit sharing. Why your friend bring you today, whenever you trade, they will enjoy a certain profit sharing from the spread which that broker earn. Whereby other broker, they only share with the master broker and individual broker. Now what is the percentage, what kind of profit sharing that we can enjoy? I'll share with you at another session. Right? What the profit sharing, the FX traders share with all the traders. Right? Alright. So FX United, we have a forex seminar. To provide training, support system, and other activity. Now, what FX Trader can offer us? Friend, there are 2,400 forex brokerage companies in the world. And in Malaysia alone, there are 200 over brokers. Why should we should choose FX United? 
there are company A, company B, company C. What actually FX United can offer? Now, remember earlier I said 95% people fail? Four reason. What is the first reason? Greedy. Second reason? Emotion trader. Third reason? Lack of knowledge. Fourth reason? Lack of equity. Now, friend, greed and emotion. Sorry, we can't help you. Because it's your money, you're going to open an account and you're going to trick yourself. Is there any medicine for greed? Sometimes greedy can you give one jab. You are, right? you have to control yourself. Of course, we work as a team, right? I have almost about 90 WhatsApp group. I will always WhatsApp and tell everyone that don't trick more than 1%. 1% a day is only good enough. But for us to become a successful forex trader, we must have enough knowledge and enough equity. So for the knowledge, through Care FX United Club, the group, because if you free unlimited classes, whereby outside people charge 2,005 to 15,000 ringgit for five days class. I remember six months ago when I went, uh, when I had my talk at JB, this one lady came from Singapore. She paid 12,000 sing dollar for five days class. After that, the trainer said, "Okay, go and treat yourself." She went back and cried. Why? She lost 12,000. What can you learn? 100 years of industry within five days. Even care, there are a group of people charging 2,005. But here, the class is free until you become expert every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at our Care FX United Club, Pandan Prima, Ampa, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Tuesday and Wednesday, basic class. Thursday is an advanced class. So as a newcomer, you just need to attend two basic class and two advanced class. I can guarantee you that you two can make 1% a day. All right? So that's for the knowledge. Now, how about equity? How can the company help us to increase the equity? So for that, they have introduced two plans. First, they call the means plan. Second, they call the affiliate partnership program. Now, what is this means plan all about? A plan where you earn while you learn and take away success is the most value offer from FX United. Friend, this is 100 years old industry. You can't learn within one or two months. You have to give yourself minimum next 6 to 12 months. So next 6 to 12 months, while you learn, you too can earn from this means plan. Now, for you to start trade, you can start with a capital of USD $500 or ringgit ratio 1950. Friend, this $500 you're not going to pay anyone. Eh? You're going to open an account under your name, you're going to deposit under your name, and you're going to trade yourself. Whereby outside, people charge 2005 for the class. But here, for your own trade. Now, I'm going to show you potential income based on $500. The moment you deposit $500, the broker will give you a margin support bonus of 30%. This is standard by all the broker companies in the world. There are some companies pay you 10, 20, 30, up to 50%. But FX United give you 30%. So 530%, 150% now in your trading account, you have $650. Now friend, with this $650, can you become rich? Boleh jadi kaya? Can Don't ever dream. Huh? If you think you want to become rich, I can guarantee you this $650 can just wipe out within half an hour. Why? It's a six trillion dollar industry. Now what can you do with this six trillion dollar? You only can do one thing. That is, you can learn and trade with 1% money management. Now, how this 1% management works? I can prove to you right now that everyone that's sitting here, you too can make 1% It's a very simple formula, right? Let me share with you. When you deposit 500, our target is to make 1% a day. So 1% of 500, how much you can earn per day? Huh? $5. Right? Now, market is 24 hours a day, 5 days a week, 20 days a month. So one day 1%, 20 days you can earn 20, 20 days, 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 Banks give us some money at the monthly. Right? See, the bank's biggest revenue, the financial institute's biggest revenue come for forex industry. They make 240%, but they give us 
Do you see banks uh, HQ in shop lot? Uh? <laughs> Opposite, you see, like they already built their fourth tower already. <laughs> but the problem with people like us, we don't have a financial IQ. You know, people like us, we always see the dollar value. We don't see the percentage. You say, oh, five dollar very small. So they want to break for ten to twenty percent a day. End up wipe up. Right, it's a six trillion dollar a day. How you want to take the risk up to ten percent? But 1% is possible. Okay? Let me prove to you. This is your equity. $500 is your equity. Remember I shared with you the volume that you need to enter the market? Also money manageable. So you only can take position or into the market 0.1% of your $500. Meaning you can take position for 50 cents, one piece. Now, for you to earn $5 a day, since you enter 50 cent, you need to profit how many pips a day? How many? Only 10. Right? You only need 10 pips a day, you know? Right? But you can ask a friend who brought you today, how many pips they make a day? Okay? We got a gentleman. Mr. Prabhupada, how many pips a day? It's a new comment to the industry, yeah? Alright? How many pips? More than 50 pips. More than 50 pips. I'm talking about 10, you know? Right? I know there are many of them. They're earning about 30, 40, 100, 120. But we are talking about 10 for 1%. Huh? 